guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So we are gonna cover a lot of stuff in today's video. So before we get started, grab your coffee or your tea and get all settled in. I'll also put chapters in the description below. That way, if you already know something, you can just fast forward or if you need to rewatch a specific topic, you'll know where to go. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, now would be a great time to hit the pause button and smash that subscribe button. And while you're at it, you can also smash the like button too. That way you won't miss out on any of my future videos. Stick around till the end and I'm going to share with you how you can start supplementing tumblers for a lot less money. So let's get started you guys step is to head on over to Canva and we're going to use the free edition. I'm going to go ahead and change the dimensions to inches and I'm going to do 8.6 by 9.6 because that's going to work for the tumbler that I'm doing today. I am doing a 20 ounce skinny supplemental tumbler. I also found some really cute Valentine's um, images off of Etsy and I'll leave the link just in case you happen to like the one that I'm going to upload and we're gonna make it bigger and I'm going to turn it this way the reason I'm gonna do sideways is because of the way that paper is I need it to wrap around the tumbler so it's gonna go um, this way just to kind of backtrack the reason I'm not using uh, Cricut design space for this is because that I'm using are too big to do on the Cricut. So uh, that is why we're doing it today on Canva. I'm going to go ahead and hit share and then download. And I'm going to change the file type to a PDF print. And then I'm going to go ahead and click download. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. So I just opened it up in PDF. And before we hit print, I am going to show you uh, what I do to the printer. And I am going to use an Epson ET2720. And I converted that to a sublimation printer. So if you're interested in doing something like that, I'll leave the link below um, to kind of tell you how to do it. It's super easy. So I'm gonna go in here and type in printer. And I'm going to go to the supplemental printer that I have, click on printing preferences. And mine already defaults to save how I, how I need it to be saved. But your paper type probably says plain. So I changed mine to premium. Your quality is probably standard. I change it to high. And then make sure your color. And then we go over to more options. And then we click on advanced and all of the, in the color circle, I like to have all of mine super bright, but everyone is different. So you just want to adjust it the way that you want it. And then the color mode is Adobe RGB and yours may have um, defaulted on that. And um, then 2.2 and then you'll hit okay and okay. So now we're gonna go back over to the PDF. I am going to use printer jack sublimation paper. And if you're using it on the printer, I put the blue side facing down into the feeder and we're gonna go ahead and hit print. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is cut this part off. And um, just to let you know too, when you supplement, if this is your first time, it does come out faded, but once you apply heat, it makes the color pop. So just wanna let you know that. And let's go ahead and line this up. Okay. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is grab the tumbler. And I bought a bundle, so it's a six pack, and it comes with everything you need. So it comes with, this is the, the shrinkage wrap that you wrap around. It actually comes with a straw too. I'll have to grab it. And this goes at the bottom. So the first thing we're gonna do is get 
paper. All right. And um, like I said, the reason I rotated it is because if I had done it this way, this would not wrap all the way around. So that's why I rotated it so it does go all the way around. Okay. Now also, if you're doing like a name or other type of picture, you would need to mirror it. But in this case, since it's just lines and hearts, I didn't mirror it and I don't think you really need to for that. So what we're gonna do is line this up. We're gonna wrap it. And before I um, do that, I'm gonna get uh, the heat resistant tape and just get a little bit of the piece ready. You wanna make sure that you put the hearts going the right way. So let's go ahead and do this and we're gonna wrap it. Also, you need to be careful as far as when you tape. You don't want to get tape on the tumbler because that will show up and it won't look very nice and just tape it. So now the tape is on the paper. So let's go ahead and do that. And you don't really need a lot. I'm gonna do uh, three little pieces. And then I saw a neat trick that I'm gonna show you because I don't want to have the edges not have some sort of color on it. I want it to all flow and like blend together. Okay, so what they did was they just put it on like this. Okay, so they just put it just like this and then they folded it over like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is line this up here. Okay, so see what I'm doing is just wrapping it around like that. So there's just like a little bit of um, tape that can attach here. So let's go ahead and pull that down. Okay, and I'm gonna just continue around. And then I'm gonna do the bottom as well. Okay. Okay, so this looks good. Now I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Um, I don't think I'll need as much here. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and leave it a little bit up like that. Okay, and then just push it down. I think the more you do it, the easier it gets. So, just FYI. All right, you guys, cool. See, so it's securely wrapped. So I have the toaster oven preheating and I will go over all that with you. But let's first put this tumbler inside this plastic, this little shrink wrap. Okay, so. It'll be, I'm gonna put it like right in the center, just like that. This is a um, heat gun. And what I'm doing is I'm just um, kind of wrapping it up so it's secure. You wanna make sure to keep the um, sublimation paper intact. That looks just like, just like this. This is a Black & Decker uh, toaster oven. Once you supplement in their toaster oven, you can no longer use that for food. So once you do it, it's completely sublimation. And um, I went ahead and I put parchment paper inside on the rack. I put the temperature at 375, bake. We're gonna go ahead and open this. And I'm gonna place this in here, okay? And then we're gonna close it. And let's go ahead and set the timer. I Last time I did four minutes, I think I'm gonna do like 4.30. So I wanna give you the scoop on this, okay? So I looked up sublimation ovens and they're expensive and I can't think of the price off the top of my head, but they're hundreds. And I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy sublimating tumblers, so I didn't want to invest um, that type of money. I also heard that you could sublimate with a convection toaster oven, so I decided to go that route. Then I started looking at the prices for the toaster oven, and that can get pricey as well. 
I also wasn't sure if I would enjoy sublimating tumblers. So before I made a big purchase, I decided I wanted to test it out. So let me tell you what I did. So I happened to be at the thrift store and I saw that they sold toaster ovens. So I thought that would be a great way to get introduced into sublimating with tumblers to find out if it's something that I like or not. So I went ahead and I bought it and I only paid $7.99. So if you're looking to get into sublimating tumblers and you're in the same boat that I was where you're not sure if it's something that you will enjoy or not, you might want to do something like that at, at your local Goodwill or thrift store and see if that's something that works for you. Now we're ready to go ahead and take the tumbler out. And it's hit or miss, like, you know, learning the times as far as, um, you know, how long. But with Printer Jack paper, it, it said, um, and this is super hot, you guys. Um, you know, it gives you temperatures to work with. Isn't that cute? I love it. What do you guys think? And what do you think about buying it at like Goodwill or the thrift store or something like that to get started? Let me know, leave a comment below. Let me know if that's something that you guys would do as well. And that's it. So um, bye you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, do all that jazz. Bye.